Hi everybody, welcome to my home. This is Sequoia and that's Solstice. Baby Sequoia is having a few digestion problems today, but we I am still going to show you what we do every single day in our daily routine. But this daily routine does focus on digestive issues with colic and sometimes even teething problems, they relate to the stomach issues. So many children, many babies do get stomach issues while they are teething as well. And that is somewhat what is happening to Sequoia, who is now six months old. He's half a year. So we are going to help him free up some of those stomach issues. And I'm going to tell you about our baby daily routine. As he's taking his bottle, I'm going to tell you about the belt flow. The belt flow is in the center of our body, around our waist, and it goes all the way around to the back of our body. And it is so important, it connects the bottom part of our body to the top half of our body. Sometimes if you feel as if you are disconnected from the bottom to the top, or if you even have circulation problems and you don't even know that energy is flowing down and you can't feel it. Sometimes the belt flow helps you. There is so many organs in our belt flow. There is our stomach, there is our womb for women, and that connects to the fertility issues. There is our kidneys in the back, there is the liver, the gallbladder, the intestines, for most sure. meridians run through this section, or there is an organ there. So the half of our body can get really stressed from our daily lifestyle and especially for women who have our cycles here. So belt flow is so important to run every single day. For babies, it is more important because they are assimilating the world. They are metabolizing things in our their environment in their physical nature, in their physical bodies. Sequoia is looking at himself and me going, what are you doing, mom? <laughs> so so what we do for babies is um, we op help open that up and help the circulation flow. So that's one of the one of the things that we are going to be doing. One of the first things we start with is crossing the baby over. And this is wonderful. You can go slow and easy, slow and easy. And sometimes I like to bring in shh, shh, especially if they have digestion issues. Oh, I just heard a toot. Yay! He has had some trapped gas going on. So crossing the baby over is really good. Bless you. Bless you. And um, so if he's doing tummy time, you would do it on the back when he's doing tummy time. This is how we start out. So what crossovers do is help cross over the energies in the body. You can also do it with a figure eight at the end of the session too. But they help the, the energies cross over and that's what we want. If a baby isn't getting well, or if a person isn't getting well, then the energies aren't crossing over in order to help them move through what is being done to them, or assimilating the situation, or acclimating to the environment. Figure eights or crossovers help. Even with learning children challenges in children, crossover patterns help. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. He's just not feeling very well at all today. But we're going to help that, okay? Okay, so we are going to the, do the baby belt flow. Hey, Sequoia. <laughs> He's ready to go. Okay, shall we do the baby belt flow? We go, we start on this side, and we go baby, baby, belt flow. Baby, baby, belt flow. Baby, baby, belt flow all the way home. Boop! When you go all the way home, you're taking the points on the outside of their legs and the points on the inside of the legs and really working them. It goes to large intestine for digestion and small intestine for just this area in here to loosen it up. 
So that's the baby, baby belt flow. And now we're going to do bicycle. Shall we do bicycle? And when you, you're going to take the baby's feet and you're going to take the knees and go up into their chest. Bicycle, bicycle, built for two. Bicycle, bicycle, me, you stretch it out, and you, me, and you. And that sometimes gets a little bit of gas out. And then we do the finale, and Sequoia loves the finale. Oh, sometimes we cough and sometimes we spit up with that one, but it does help gas. Okay, here we go. We cross the little ankles here, and we go first counterclockwise let's see counterclockwise fat bottom girls they make the rockin world go round and the other way fat bottom girls they make the rockin world go round isn't that right sequoia and then if you want to you can always do these outside points and you can also do the i love you massage i Love you. I, all the way across. Love. You make the top of the L. And then the U goes around and it follows the baby's uh, digestive tract. You. I love you, Sequoia. Let's go him up. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. And then every now and then you can give a little jiggle. But that's the baby digestion daily routine. Oh, you did good, honey bear. You did. So the last thing we end with in our baby daily routine is hearts to make the baby's radiant circuits come up and for them to feel happy. So we take a heart around their face, a heart on their chest, a heart on their lower part of their body and a big heart around their whole being. Oh, honey, you can give them a little kiss. So when you trace hearts around any part of the body, it brings in radiance and aliveness and helps the energies of happiness flow so you don't get more depressed and even organs and energy systems can get depressed too and it's a lot more difficult for them to move if you don't have radiant circuits flowing in your body it's an ancient system predates the meridian system and it's a great system so making hearts around the body brings that in. So I hope you enjoyed this little video that I and Sequoia have made. And I hope that you use these simple tools, but they are very effective in your day for your baby or your child to help them assimilate digestion problems or anything in the environment in our day and age there are so many toxins in our foods if you begin early with children with babies to help them assimilate and metabolize their food then later on it won't be as difficult for their digestive systems to function and it'll flow a lot easier so there you go do this baby daily energy routine and it'll strengthen your baby's immune system as well and keep their digestion balanced and healthy. Till next time. Bye-bye.